Here we have a 2024 black on black Explorer Chevy Express 2500 conversion van. Now I'm excited about this one because we have a few updates, including getting the Vortec Max 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine made it with an eight speed automatic transmission. But just really excited about this. Want to give a huge shout out to Mike Kostrusi Chevy here in Milford, Ohio for allowing me to review this van today. I'll leave links below in the description if you're interested in getting one. But as we come around to the front end here, just a nice, just beautiful, the best way to describe it is a baller-like front fascia here. You just look like a million bucks in one of these LED fog lights down below. Standard headlamps there. Love this black mesh grill. It's just stunning. It really is. Now, me personally, I swapped those lights out for LEDs, but you don't have to. They work just fine. 20 inch aluminum wheels here with this one having the sport trim from explore those wheels we usually come on them and they make a big difference i think now over here power window controls power mirrors power door locks and we do have a pretty stellar jbl sound system here so tweeters in the door speakers just tons and tons of stuff going on here but headlamp controls are there foot pedal brake pull that to release it and there's a driver's seat there we do get that quilted leather stitch interior which i love it looks fantastic illuminated kick plate there power running board there and that's where your gas goes now as we come around to the back end this one being the the chevy express we do get the power folding bed so i'll show you that in a minute but something that is new here is this dual exhaust and i love how they kind of customize the bumper there so you have two pipes running tow hitch is there here's a spare so i'm excited to put that to the test as well on the test drive now I scooted the seats up a little bit because this is a nine passenger van but to get this bed to fold flat you got to make sure those seats are up quite a bit and this door does not want to ever stay open there we go see it swings all the way out but now we can fold that flat take your little nap back there so it's usually everyone's favorite feature when i review these and then netted side pockets, well, netted back pockets here. And then you have your books and such right in here. So a lot of different, I guess, booklets to go with everything that's in here. But there's storage everywhere. You can put these blinds up or down. But as we come around to the front passenger seat, we're gonna look at this and then we're gonna to get to the good stuff in the back. But here's the front passenger seat. Now these are powered with power lumbar support and I'll show you where those controls are when I hop in the driver's seat after a while. But now, let's check out the good stuff. So again, there's just storage throughout here. I'm gonna hop up in here seat back pockets on both sides let's go ahead and grab the remote now we do have a blu-ray player down there and then you can hook up your xbox playstation nintendo switch whatever with a three-prong plug-in and an hdmi then you have your tv speakers 12 volt wireless charging pad and there's a view of the front from back here but there's the screen i believe that's a 32 inch screen i'm pretty sure the jbl speakers throughout I mean, just a, <laughs> such a stellar van. I love these things. I don't, get, I can't get enough of them. But I've got YouTube up now. Make sure you all check out my magazine, NBCR Magazine. It's at NBCRmag.com. But Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, all of that you can pull up here. 
So pretty neat. Now, again, I do have these seats scooted up quite a bit so that I can fold that down. But since I'm done with that, I can scoot this one back. And you saw how I can sit up there, no problem. And I can sit back here, no problem as well. And then I can also sit in that seat there. But wireless headphones are everywhere. You get USB-A ports, two on each side. Illuminated cup holders there. And then I believe that's a wireless charging pad there as well. And then storage everywhere too. And then my favorite feature here is gonna be this roof here. So we can close the shade off there. And then if I can make it back up here, Uh, there's a switch right in there to get that to move back. So I'm gonna show you, it's a lot of work to show this, but literally you have a sunroof in the back, just nuts. So that's another cool feature I like here, but I mean, there's just so much, there's so much to see here. I can just sit back here and just look at it. I'm kind of do that thing. I'm gonna do that for a minute here. Just. Just take all that in. I mean, this is just a stunning way to travel. Or even if you want to have like a mobile office or something like that, it's just fantastic. <sighs> I wish I could stay here all day, but. So yeah, I mean, a lot of features you get here, a lot. And there's a JBL speaker in there. More storage for the headphones. Let's go ahead and make our way to the driver's seat. One last glimpse for the road. And I forgot to mention the blinds. I mean, there are blinds everywhere. Pretty much every window except the front, you can close your blinds there. Let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Before I forget, I'm gonna close this roof up and then we're gonna take a look in the engine bay. So that switch again is right here. And that's shut now. Speaking of which, rear AC controls are there. Cabin lights and all of that are there. You can see that goes on and off as I flip those switches. There's the horn. But before we get into everything, let's take a look at the 6.6 .6 V8. It's hard to really see because there's a, a very small opening for such a big engine, but kind of read that there. And it's way up in there, that Vortec Max. So again, can't, can't wait to test that out. But back to the driver's seat. Leather wrap steering wheel here. This wheel's been along for a minute, so we're used to this. Now, something we're not used to is this new screen here, which I'm very pleased with from Explore. We get this, we get this all new Alpine screen. So Bluetooth audio, Apple CarPlay, Android audio, FM radio, all of that is there. And then you even have a vehicle info set up here so I can see my tire pressure monitors, battery voltage, parking sensors, gauges all of that there so very impressed with how they were able to link this with the actual vehicle and some of the settings you get that we're not typically used to in this van backup camera here and then we have the standard one up here and i just like this this is an alpine screen so it's very very nice so i can pull this up mess with the bass treble all of that And it's just, it's really neat. It's really, really neat. Now down here below, traction control. We can turn the passenger airbag there. On-star controls, lane departure, forward collision alert gap, three-prong plug-in, USB-A, and then a 12 volt, and then storage there, tow haul modes there, 
12 volt. And then three bottle holders are here. This switch is what you can use if you want to turn off the power running boards, keep those from retracting. Storage here. Netted side pocket, netted side pocket. And then here, if I can get this out, is where the cooler is. And then to the seat before I forget. So this is on both sides. So we have the heated seat toggle there. And then this is for the power lumbar support. And then we can power recline, retract, pump the seat up or down, move the seat back or forth, and then pump the back, pump the seat up from the back right there. Very, very adjustable. Now back to the steering wheel, cruise control, we can toggle that there, cancel, set the speed. We have voice recognition, track list of radio station presets there, sources, and then the audio, I'm so glad that they linked this here so I can actually control the volume from the steering wheel. And what's neat is I can just hold it and it automatically mutes it. So I love how that works. Shifter, pull, reverse, neutral drive, manual, first. And then in the manual mode, you can go through all eight of those speeds right there. And it'll show you what gear you're in. And then it'll even show you the engine revs too, so. Wipers are here fluid there, high beams, and then all of our info is here. If you want to change your units of measurement, tire pressure sensors, blind zone, all of that there. And I did forget to mention that we do have blind spot monitors here, so big plus as well. One more last look at the back seat. And then here is our key with the key fob. I know it's 2024, but we do get remote start. And now I'm excited to go ahead and take this 2024 Explorer with the Vortex 6.6 out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this express conversion van, I just drove the Transit 250 and you don't get the same amount of pull. I should say the same feeling of exhilaration with a twin turbo V6. I should say with this V8 compared to the twin turbo V6, the twin turbo v V6 just feels quicker. It's more stout, I think, but this is 100% naturally aspirated V8 power. And there's something about that for, I think a lot of people who are in the market for a conversion van. They like having the naturally aspirated powertrain, not having to deal with turbos. It's almost like a feeling of nostalgia as well. But I'm so glad we have the eight speed here as opposed to the six speed that we had for so long. But this just, it floats down the road. It bounces, but it floats. So it's very comfortable. Now with this having such a long wheelbase, that kind of contributes to that. But with it being a high top, you also want to just be careful of taking these things around corners because just weight distribution and all that is something you want to consider when you're rolling around in something that's this long and this tall. But I'm going to come out of this corner here and I'm going to give it some power. See what it can do. So wind noise not terrible here. With this being a big van, I am getting just a bit of intrusion from the wind because it's extremely windy out here today, but nothing I can't handle. Pretty controllable. I will say this is fun in terms of like flooring it because with it being a V8 as opposed to the twin turbo V6, where it really shines is when you go from, let's say 60 up. 
and you don't necessarily need the the turbos to get up to speed you have that you have the full grunt of the v8 there and uh yeah it's that's pretty nice it moved just as quickly the needle did from like 30 to 40 as it did from like 60 to 70 so that was that was wild but i mean this is a six-figure conversion van as it should be the power is great the technology even though this is due for i mean it really isn't due for a refresh because we still love these things but leds quick swap you do it yourself that'd be nice but everything else that comes on here is really state of the art you got blind spot monitors you don't have adaptive cruise that's the only thing that i wish we could get in these but we do have the the forward collision alert indicator love the new alpine screen and then everything in the back is state of the art again so having the smart tv and being able to hook up your playstation xbox is very nice But I think if you're in the market for one of these, test out the Transit versus the Express conversion van because although the Transit is a bit ahead of its time with a lot of stuff, there are still some things that just can't touch the Express Savannah Van Duo. They just, they're tried and true. It's like trying to compare a new, I don't know, like F-150 to an older Tundra. The older Tundra will probably hold up more just because it has a tried and true powertrain. There's less going on. But you may like the naturally aspirated V8 as well. So just compare apples to apples and see what's best for you. But definitely love this van. Still a classic. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Chevy Express Explorer conversion van.